I think I started working with my dad when I was about 15 years old, pretty long time ago. Uh, I was rock scaling. He's owned his slope stabilization company since 2000. That would have been around 04, 05 that I started working for him and I've been doing it ever since. Another day of the life. I call my dad Mike lots, actually, almost all the time. I get in trouble for it. The reason I call him Mike is because I've worked for him for so long that you call him dad, he doesn't listen. If you call him Mike, it's like a, it's like a business thing, like a work thing, and he listens better. So if you call him dad, oh, whatever, my kid's yelling at me, but if you say, hey, Mike, he's like, oh, must be more important. So I just found Mike works better to get his attention. I met Avery when I was 19 years old. Me and my buddy actually just wanted to go rent some jet skis on the shoe swap. And Avery used to run a rental business there called Wildman Rentals. We went out there one day and we just sat down and bullshit with him, rented some jet skis off him, hung out, and that was just kind of the start of a long friendship. Yeah, f f kidding me, right? I can guarantee you that uh, there's no fuel in it. <laughs> sakes. As much of a hard time as I give him, I feel very grateful for my dad because he taught me that if you want something, you have to go out there and get it. Don't, no one will give it to you. You can't just sit back and expect it. So if you want something, you get off your ass and you work. And that's what I'm grateful for. My perfect day starts at about 10 o'clock in the morning. Roll out of bed after a nice long sleeping in. Bacon and eggs, nice breakfast. And then wake surf all day, have a couple beers, hang out with friends, have a good time. Go home and do it all over again.